What is the supernatural? What if you could prove that the supernatural was merely a manifestation of what already exists in the mind? If we can cure one patient, we cure all mankind. What story are you looking for? Are you a believer? I suppose I don't know what I believe in. I hope you don't scare easily. Welcome to the experiment. Since this movie is more or less based on a true story, what was it like doing research on it for all of you? I just felt with Jane Harper in the script, I kind of, with the director, I wanted to make her as original as possible because you kind of, you get a lot of the girl in the smock with the, the dank, straight, black hair in all the movies and I kind of, I wanted her to make her just so original that no one had ever seen that. So I really wanted just to work with me and the director on Jane Harper. And you know, it is a movie as well. A lot, a lot of the research I did was actually not in the supernatural. Uh, I mean, we, we all kind of sat down and researched the experiments and talked through the, you know, the actual real life experiment that this is loosely based on. Um, you know, I actually had a rehearsal period where we could all kind of collaborate and bring ideas together. Um, but for me, the, the majority of my research was actually into the 1970s film equipment and getting used to how to use a Steinbeck and uh, like cutting and editing film and like using a camera, holding a camera, you know, making that kind of a part of me as opposed to something that I had to kind of keep picking up and dropping. Um, so that, that was the majority of my research period, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, there was, I mean, I, I did a lot of research into that. There was a lot of, re there was a lot of experiments that being conducted uh, in universities all over the world at the time into parapsychology, but also into um, sort of uh, human group behaviour, which is also an element that's in the story that the writers um, sort of resourced and used. But the, you know, the, 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 there was an experiment and that experiment is sort of the, the match that lit the writer's imagination, if you like. But it is, it's completely fictionalised, you know. Um, and, uh, and it's really, they looked at that experiment and said, well, what if? And then they constructed the story. That's great. And you've played a number of psychiatrists before, psychologists, if you will. This is my second, I think. This is your second? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, because I remember you played one in the, the ward. ward. Yeah. 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 What was different about this particular character? Well, um, I mean, this guy's a megalomaniac, you know, um, and uh, whereas the other, you know, the other, the other doctor was successful in terms of how he, he, he cured the, the multiple personality disorder uh, of, of his patient, um, I don't think there's, I don't know if this guy would ever have stopped the experiment. I, I think that he... Well, no, you didn't. I mean, yeah. Well, he's forced to, but I don't think if he was left to his own devices, would he ever have stopped the experiment? I think he, he, he would have kept her locked up in that room for a really long time, yeah. trying to, you know, figure out what he wanted to figure out. And Olivia, your character has a, a wide range of emotions that she experiences, which does make this character very unique to others, yeah. like her in other films. What was it like um, going back and forth to one state? psychological state to another it was it was a dream for me you know it was like five characters in one to be able to play that was just a dream for an actress of 18 because we filmed it two years ago um so i just felt really really lucky and i'd never felt like i was it physically drained because it was very physical the movie with all the fight and the stunts and blah blah but um emotionally i was fine i was just a bit tired <laughs> that's, that's cup of tea that's not well. surprising yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kind of comes with a territory. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. And then, um, uh, Sam, I understand you're a big fan of uh, Hammer films. Mm. And I was curious, were there any Hammer films that you think people today should see that they probably haven't? Do you know, I don't know. I mean, I honestly haven't seen a huge amount of their like classical uh, um, list of incredible films. I mean, I think Jared's actually a, a bit more fan. clued yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember um, there was a. There was a really good twist on the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde story called Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde, where he, when he drinks the potion, he turns into this sort of stunning, nubile, redhead woman who goes around London. And there was another one called Hands of the Ripper that was about Jack the Ripper's daughter. Um, there was a bunch of these great black and white Peter Cushing Frankenstein films. 
I mean, they had a, what was fun about them was that they, they did the sort of straightforward telling of these stories, but they'd also do these lovely twists on them as well, you know. So um, they had a pretty sort of wide palette. Happy about the fact that he's got his back. Yes. <laughs> Very simple picture. It <laughs> Just so everyone's yes. aware. <laughs> That's an unhappy face, and that one. Wow, I've gone. I've hit another level. Oh yes. Okay. Um, but basically.